Oh my god! Wait, has this been announced yet? And also searching for that secret source, guys. The bottom of the packet, they've not got there yet, clearly. <laughs> they still very much look bland. They are the skim milk of NA Valorant right now. These guys are just a stream team. These guys are not practicing. These guys are not really freshening up their, their play style. When it really comes down to when they were actually facing team to team from week to week, it ended up coming down simply to their preparation and how dedicated they actually were to changing how they approached. So I want to ask you, how committed do you feel the Sentinels team is to actually winning again? But the team itself was playing the worst Valorant that they've played, uh, maybe ever. I'm back, baby. Oh my god, Shroud joined Sentinels. Wait, Shroud joined Magic Sentinels? Found. Wait, actually no troll. Shroud just joined fucking Sentinels. We haven't seen Shroud play competitively in like a few years, yeah? Sentinels, Sentinels are the best fucking org. No bullshit. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm back, baby. I'm back. What's up, teammate? I'm ready. So we were actually actively looking for an additional fifth for a smokes roll, because I was subbing in. And at the time we were like, pretty, like we couldn't figure out who we wanted. And then Shroud actually came up to us and like offered. And we were like, we thought about that for a while and I thought about that too. He's he's incredibly smart. Um, he's, I think, blown everyone's expectations. Uh, you know, he's titled the god of FPS games, but you know, there's merit behind that. I'll 100% trust him with uh, any plays he wants to do, or if he has to hold a site, I trust him. It was definitely like a shocker, but I think like, if you like understand all the motions, it made a lot of sense. Shroud joins the Sentinels starting lineup for the LCQ. I was kind of thinking it was probably over for roster changes with the Sentinels team. That is not the case at all. Kanpeki is gone. Zelsis, formerly of version 1, is in the team. Is this a good change? Is this actually a sign of Sentinels taking their LCQ success rather seriously? Then now um, Jordan, he's taking up the uh, entry role that I previously fulfilled. His energy, his comms. They definitely bring us uh, a tear up. Zelsis is a really old friend. Uh, I've known Jordan for, I want to say, like going on seven years in like gaming. Uh, I know, like, I played against him when I was on my old team playing, and like, I just know how he thinks. And I think a lot of people just like slept on him. Zelsis is an animal, and in game and out of game. He he is really, really, really freaking good. And he brings that level of like. I don't want to say like professionalism because he's like kind of a troll, but he brings the level of like stability on the team where he won't give up ever. And that's like what you need. Obviously Sentinels had a little bit troublesome time to the, the end of their year. Uh, probably not what they were looking for. Um, they looked to, you know, rebuild the roster a little bit with me and Shroudy, uh, two probably pickups most people probably didn't see coming or anything like that, especially Shroudy. Also shout out Shaz, Dapper, and Tens. Like they're like very open-minded with the stuff we bring or the stuff we say. Um, it's very easy to like talk to them and change stuff up if it doesn't work or whatever. So hopefully we can just keep riding that into LCQ and just keep grinding how we're grinding. Basically a boot camp, we just all gather into like one area, one facility, and we'll do a bunch of scrims, go over stuff, really refine stuff. And I think because uh, everyone is at the same place, we're all in person, it really lets other people, like it, um, it makes people feel like they're accountable and they definitely like have to put in like the, the work, the efforts. And so I think that's like a really like good portion of boot camp. Also, it's just more fun, I would say, to, to always like practice and have your teammates right there, talk about stuff like before, after, like um, I, I would just say there's like a bunch of benefits to it. Oh no, five seconds. Five seconds? You're good. No, I wouldn't eat it. I actually have an extra sandwich. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm so hungry. No, I don't. Well, you argued this with me for hours yesterday. Oh boy. Oh, fuck. 
because right, you opened up the mics. I think I lost my mic. Oh, I have to do it six years ago. Yeah, oh, we'll oh. oh. Bro, oh, I've been shopping in 2016. That's what I did. Nice. Oh, uh, well, they didn't have an Overwatch team back then. No, they, they had it for like... Our days pretty much start, for me, quite early. I get here at 10 a.m., but I usually have call time around like 12, 12.30. Um, let's say we start practice at 2. It gives us like an hour and a half to two hours of server prep. Um, to start off the day and just kind of chat, like warm up a bit and then we will start our meeting with our performance coach, Evan. So Evan, our performance coach, uh, he personally has helped me a lot. Uh, we do team sessions and also individual. Uh, I think it's just kind of up to the players how much help they want individually. Uh, I think it's something that's like really interesting to me and it helps me a ton. My role for this boot camp is really, I think first and foremost, uh, because we are towards the end of the season and I'm joining the team a little late this season, really just to learn and, and listen to the team, uh, the dynamics that are going on, the communications, uh, and I'm also here to provide support to the players and to the team as a whole. Uh, so really everything that I do is really around their performance, both mental and physical, uh, individually and as a team. So um, doing team presentations, talking to the players, uh, really any way that I can be supportive to uh, the team and the players right now is, is really my focus for this boot camp. I come from an early, an early day of Counter-Strike Global Offensive and we didn't have all that. We just had five players, right? And then eventually you got a coach and then eventually you got an analyst. I never really got to see that. Towards the end of my Counter-Strike career, that's when that started coming in. So to see it and be a part of it now is freaking amazing and I wish I had it eight years ago. Just talking with the performance coach is so good for just your mental mindset. And since we're gamers, there's no real physical actions. Yeah, we move a mouse, whatever, right? It's all mental. So I think performance coaches are very, very important because confidence is key in, in gaming. Um, everyone has an ego and you gotta find a way to, to balance that, right? Don't have too much of an ego, but still have confidence. And performance coach helps me there. And I think for the five players, the first thing that comes to mind is coachability, right? Like, you guys all have huge followings, you guys all have high ranks, you guys have all had success individually, separate of this team, uh, and it takes eliminating your ego and putting your ego aside to be coachable, right? To kind of put yourself in that mindset that I still have things to learn. Uh, I don't have it all figured out. Uh, one of my favorite phrases is, none of, us, none of us here is a finished product, right? Like, we're all still trying to get better. Like uh, the, the background coming into this tournament right now is like we've underperformed, we've had some guys leave, we've added a couple of new guys, but really none of that matters. Like all that matters is right now, is like this practice that we're gonna have. And, and it's a pretty long day, right? So I would think growth and becoming a better player, becoming a better person, like these are huge aspects of eliminating your ego and continuing to develop. Anybody can think of anything else that would be a benefit to eliminating your ego? Shroud, this is your opportunity to push back and, and you know, put me in my place and tell me how uh, ego is actually really beneficial. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm all for ego, honestly. As long as you do, as long as you manage it, as long as you manage your ego, it works really well in video games. So uh, elaborate on that. Like, how does it work well? I mean, it's, it's maybe it's not, e maybe ego is the, the wrong word, maybe just confidence, but confidence kind of is ego in a way, so right? Like, you make smart, you make smarter decisions the more confident you are. In a game like this, confidence is like almost entirely everything. Yeah. Because like there's so many variables, there's so many different variables in the game itself that like, if you're hyper-focused on like, being the perfect team or the better team essentially, then like I feel like the second you face adversity, it's like gonna kind of like hurt your confidence a little bit. Like focusing on like yourself with the or sorry, focusing on like your team, being confident in what you're doing always is always gonna be like um, more beneficial than like focusing on the other like opponent rather. So like in in a sense, like I think I had a similar talk with you about like I have like a big ego in a sense that like I'm very confident in everything that I say and like I truly believe like that I like have a really good like idea better than someone else would have in my position. So like 
that like will put that puts me in a good like I don't know that puts me in a, a position that like I feel like I could do my job better than other people mm-hmm. like understanding it from like a better level but that is an ego how, how is that detrimental to your job because the things that I say I'm always going to be sure of that's like no, I don't know no. how is that detrimental you said I always know things better than other people other people in my position specific right so you have nothing else to learn no you can't learn from other you people? can still learn with an ego I gotta always learn. I'm always watching. I'm always like studying. Like so, against, so um, I think right now. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I was just gonna say like, there's a way like if we play against a team in Prague, and like I think is worse, I'll still like if they do something good, like I'll still like think that it was good. You know, like I'll appreciate or like you, you could like what are you saying like keep an open mind. Like you can still take things and learn things from people or like teams that you think are worse or something, and if you like completely disrespect them or something, you probably wouldn't. I don't know. Like, I might still think I'm a better player or a better team than this team, but they might be doing something right that we're not. Yes. I love that. Uh, I appreciate that you brought that up, Shaz, because, yeah. like, obviously, some sometimes we're playing guys or, or teams that we're going to play here in a couple of weeks or in a couple of days. Uh, we understand that. But not everybody is going to be at that level. We might play, play people that are below us. Yeah. Uh, and I think kind of like we're kind of talking about two different things. You guys are using the word ego. Uh, And I think what you're trying to uh, convey is confidence. So like, we're here, we're in this moment, everything that we've done in the past has got us into this room, into this moment, and let's go out today, let's give great effort, and let's have a full enjoyment for not only playing our game, but celebrating our teammates and uh, focusing on the small win. So go out there and dominate. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so this is funny. We're scrimming today, I think it's nearest airport. They're actually a pretty good team. They just won one of the tournaments. I think it was like an NSG weekly. But um, honestly, like practice has been going phenomenal. We are improving every day. I think uh, I think we're gonna shock a lot of people. I have your shower. Yeah, we have to cross now, we have to cross like right now. But yeah, I'm crossing. Beat push. Nice. Yo, shot! Nice. Yeah, dude, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. That's Mike, Mike and Mike. I'm Mike and Mike Cam. Mike and Mike. Dude, we haven't lost one. The way you play Shroud is so fucking good. It's been a grind. It's definitely been a grind. Not not boot camping, not competing in, God, I don't even know how many years. Four, five, six freaking years since I've done this. Um, It's a grind, for sure. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable, though, because, I mean, I've done it before. So, it's just a different game, you know? Every night, you don't want to just drill and practice review. Practice review. Like, like you don't want to just keep drilling that in because it, it gets draining over a long time. We'll do some server work if, if we need to like talk about stuff in the server, like in a custom or something before the scrim start. And then we'll, you know, play through our scrims, um, have a dinner break and more scrims afterwards. And then most of the guys hop on stream and play ranked. So it's, it's been long days. I've been playing like 14 hours of hour minimum every day since we got here. So. Yeah. <laughs> We are not needed anymore. Right. Yeah, going to go away. Uh, I'm going to go away. It plays music too. Yeah. It's like Bro, I'm just like playing the simple shit on Nico's too. I got some toys. Like, it's like, it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, no, last time we were at Cut Up, um, fucking. We were trying. We kept eating to get a toy for Kaide, and so I think we got to like 80 plates or something like that. And then at the end, yeah, 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 the first time we went. And then at the end, Charlie just gave the guy a toy. He's like, "Can you get this one toy, Kaide?" Did she get it? No. 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 He came back with like, or did he get it? No, he came back with. Oh yeah, it was Gudatama. I remember. So it was a it was a Gudatama thing, and um, she wanted the uh, keychain of it. But they just gave her the microfiber top. Mm. And with something else, I was good at something. Like, yeah. I think it was like a button or something. They did the best they could. They did. We also tried God, that's like weird. What? Oh. Hey! I bought your mouse! You did? <laughs> I bought your mouse! Really? <laughs> what size did you get? I got both. Both? Yeah! Shit. Yeah. Can we get a picture with you guys? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. Sorry, sorry to bother y'all. I know y'all are busy with LCQ and stuff. But... <laughs> there you go. Thank y'all so Thank much. You. Yeah, yeah, have a good day. Sorry to bother y'all. Yeah. No, you're good.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's, it's hard to gauge completely where you're at. I think that we're playing really well and so far we've been improving every single day. Um, I think that you know people, a lot of people are in different roles, different agents, and they're still figuring out like the individual comfort. But uh, strategy-wise, like I feel really confident um, about our attack size. I think the the last thing is to like really iron out some defense setups. No, I tried it. To... <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Dude, stop whispering me. I swear. <laughs> stop, bro. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just farmed two screams and you do this to me. <laughs> Your, your first kill, first death is low attack. <laughs> you die a low attack. You have to be mean. These guys are creeping, bro. They're killing me the whole time. They're telling me what to do. Do it again. We're doing it one more time. We're getting hurt rolled up. But do it again. Wait, 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 wait. We know the strat. No, no, we're not doing this. Sorry, we're not doing this. Do it by rolled up again. So I think our defense setups and our piss rounds are pretty good. We've practiced them a lot. It's been a main focus for us. And I think now all we really need to focus on and improve on is adapting to whatever situation is thrown our way. I said it at the start of the boot camp, as long as we progress every day and we focus on like, you know, ironing out the, the small details, getting the fundamentals down, um, getting me and Trout up to speed with the team, getting Trout up to speed with the meta, etc. Match day and practice are two very different things. I've had a lot of experience in the past where we did exceptionally well during practice. We thought we were kings of the world and we went into matches and it was just rough. It just didn't translate well. And then I've been on the other side where we did really, really poorly in scrims and practice and we played amazing. I don't know what it's gonna be like here, but I do know practice has been uh, some days good, some days bad, which is a good thing, I think. I don't think you wanna be on a heater in practice always, and I also don't think you wanna be losing practice always as well when you scrim, just you know, for mor morale going into the match. But for us, it's been, it's been some days good, some days bad, which in my opinion, I think that's a really good thing. So on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give us an eight. Yeah. Alright, then I'm dead. No, but the smoke, like wait, wait, wait. It's all about the timing of it. They're all I'm arguing, if they were out or we didn't know where the fuck they were, smoking in front of yourself, it gives you angles, they could be out, you're you know, that's good. They were both spawned, and we could have the smoke down while they're still stuck in spawn. I think and I think that's good. And you also had a molly. So, like, say you get a smoke down, he's holding it, you right, molly it, right, you have right, then you could literally play, like, you could be anywhere. They have no idea. I also think you Like, literally, spawn. while he's dying, your smoke's dropping in sight. All right, go. This, timing, like, this timing think, is too tight. I think, I think it's way, my smoke is going to be useless. I, I think it's when, literally, you're right, I should have smoked five seconds sooner. Yeah. But because I yeah. didn't smoke so five I seconds sooner, this is the best yeah, exactly. that, that, That's pretty much what I was arguing, yeah. where it's yeah. like the timing of it. Yeah. Ideally, like, I if I dropped it. I just remember yeah. watching yeah. you, and I was thinking, like, pretty much the whole time, you have a smoke, you just smoke CT. Yeah. I was thinking I was, it. Yeah. And like, I was too that, distracted. That's what I'm saying. I was too distracted. Head, I was yeah. too distracted yeah, by that like, stupid. Right, right, right. Right. The, the timing of it was <laughs> yeah. there. Like if yeah. I had the timing of it worked. No, you're right. You're so, right. So, but like obviously, I do agree. Later, Hi, Meg. Nice to meet you. We're at Fogo de Guy, Fogo de Chao, sorry. <laughs> this is something I say, and uh, we're getting team dinner. Cool. Central, <laughs> 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 Who the fuck lives in Wisconsin? I'm not California, okay, bro? 
Bro. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We had the com we had the conversation before. You're gonna be a millionaire soon. <laughs> I mean, you're like owning on Twitch. You're about to. That's what I'm saying. You're about to move. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's the Sandwich fan base. Sandwich fan base. It starts off it's that way. It's not. It's not that. It's not as prevalent as you think. Yeah. No so. disrespect to Sentinels or anything, but it's not. 100%. It's, not it's more so. It's more so you yeah. than anything else. It's you. Don't give me emotional, dude. It's <laughs> really, he gets rank one. You play. You play exactly. The exactly. Like he's funny. It's more. It's more that you you earned it yourself versus Sentinels. It's the same thing. Like when I thought about my success and was it tied to Cloud Nine? Like you can argue, yeah, maybe, but. No. No. I dis I disagree. Not to be and a fan. I, and I dis not to be a fan. And I disagree boy, with the I disagree with the like three AM every night all like Exactly, all but it's the same the same goes for you. Like you think yeah. that the success comes from Sentinels and it's they do play a, they do play a little bit of a part for sure. But it's you put mainly it's mainly you. It's like eyeballs. That's what yeah. like it like it like brings eyes to you. Right here. Oh wow. to the BCT NA LCQ. We've made it here. We're going to find out who will be our final North American representative at Champs. And that's what I want you guys to think about today. Like, we know we're stepping into the storm. We know we're stepping into the storm, but like, we are prepped for this. And again, like, I'm just really big on focusing on those little things that we have to do to succeed. We're not focused on the whole match. We're focused on this round. We're focused in this moment. So again, like lean on each other, positive, obviously, um, you know, we're in that game day mentality, but lean on each other, pump each other up, and uh, look forward to celebrating with you guys here in about three hours. Yes, oh yeah, sir. let's get yes, it. Sir. Today's game day. I actually don't know what day it is, Thursday? We'll play the guard, um, feeling pretty good. Got some really good sleep last night, so. Ready? And we are back, just about ready to jump into the first match between Sentinels and the guard, the revamped Sentinels, as they brought in Zelsus and Shroud, and a guard who is looking to find a win after a very disappointing Stage 2 and Stage 1 Masters. We're probably going to be playing on 30 feet, by the way. Why? Because they're in Minnesota, so we have to play Georgia. Georgia? That's not even one of the options, is it? Yeah. yeah it's Ill Illy. If we were playing Illy, they would have uh, 15 ping, and we'd have 24. Or, or we can both play at 30. It doesn't matter. I think, I think Jordan's fine. I think even is fine. Shouldn't matter, right? Whatever. Do we pick Icebox or Reese? I think they're gonna have. Uh, this is my opinion. I think Reese will be. In, I think Icebox will be in the map no matter what. Yeah, they'll let it through. Yeah. Map. This is the thing. They either pick so a set should... or they pick Icebox. You pick Reese. So we pick Reese. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I'm with it. I knew they were gonna ban Haven. Honestly, we're very good at the backside. We're insanely good at freeze and we're really good at ice box. Alright. I think it's actually That's really good. cool. Genuinely. I think we're used to have this side. I'll put it in VR. I genuinely yeah. think this is a good pull. Can we go over essential real quick? That's what we're gonna talk about now. Yeah. Like, as a group. So, Alright guys. We 
star attack breeze, yep. then it's defense as set, then it's defense ice box. Oh my god. Hey, look at that. Look at all that, because I'm just excited to see this matchup, right? Like, this is so much fun. We get to see Shroud on a pro stage for the first time in four or five years. It's going to be absolutely awesome, and it starts off with our best team in 2021 going up against the stage one champions in the guard, and of course, only one team can walk away from this and go to champs. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was this. Sitting by my car. Yeah, I was like, nine. All right. Oh, shit. You guys ever huddle? Was it the first time? For you guys? It was the first time. I'm a, I'm a huddle. Right. I've never huddled in champs. champs. First time. First time. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. Right. Right. Who's right. the first person? I'll be it. I don't really have much to say. There's not much to really say, but uh, <laughs> just do our thing. I don't know. It's like they're just over. Yeah. Fuck it, whatever. Control the control wall. Control the control wall. Yes. Okay, listen, listen, listen. listen. There's, There's no, no bad days. days. Yes. Only bad yeah. moments. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Right. I like that. Listen, uh, just, just remember why we play. Let's have fun. Yeah, no, just seriously. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Listen, I got verified. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> you can't wait. Like, <laughs> like, we could go home. Like, just have fun. All right, guys. Right. Dominate Set, on the Sentinels on the door. I want Sentinels. 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 All right, all right. One, two, three. Sentinels! I cannot wait for this game to play out. There's so much skill going into this game right now. Sentinels is bringing to the table. The guard has revitalized tens yeah. on that chamber and shroud in on the controller position for Sentinels here. We'll get our first round of Breeze. Straight it out though, and it's looking one to be a back and forth. The back with Tens in control. One more to go to 180. For tens, it feels like comfort. It feels like home. Woo! And there's one shot onto Net. That that swing. It's a close range battle against Valen, who's just around the corner. And as he goes for that swing, it's two players looking in that area, forcing out at least a retake from the Nightfall, as Net still stays alive for a bit, but only for a bit. Here for the guard, but no hits, no kills. Ten. There it is. Oh my god, now he comes out with a 3k! Oh, 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 that setup is so good, Tyson. I actually felt so comfy oh, there. Yeah. 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 Very last yeah. round. The fucking mommies, dude! Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's how the maps are gonna work anyways, then. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, they learn about in your orb. Yes. That's what they do. Yeah. They do that like almost every round. We could probably spam it and break it early. You can. Really? Yeah. How do you know that? Because it's private. I mean, I can delete it. 15 seconds until live. Oh, fuck. All right. All good. Uh, 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 Shaz, I'll explain to you. If they play K KJ Chambers, yeah. okay, I want to they're going to have to default B, the Viper ball B every round. round. Yeah. They're going to do what we, what we do, and they go A every round. They have to. Yeah. Basically what you do, and you know, like, so the Sova, but mm -hmm. other than that, almost exactly the same with Sia Player continuing to want to lock in that jet. Sentinels have changed coming into the stage. Uh, the guard have not. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Our casters are standing by. We'll be diving into a set. Rivington, Van Silly, it's all yours. Or force to rotate out. Tense gave up towards Garden, and now we're oh, pushing towards oh, the my side, but it's Zapper. Two kills with the ghost on the back of the Jenny. Lighting up a third one. Nets on his own, on the lurk on mid, and that's going to be a prime gimme flawless. It's greeted by a shorty. It's greeted by Molly, and now the guard are one kill away. Force to a third map, but it's the off shot that gets a miss. We might see this third map in a series, and I wouldn't want it any other way, Riz. Concussed from that Nova Pulse, Net is trying to stay alive in the back. Nice flash coming out because Zelsis was full blinded from that. The swing out kill, and that solves that. And we are going Let's to go. a third map now. Maybe a save, but what the econ that they have? Somehow they land that shot. Somehow no a two way. versus no one. Way. No way. Shazam only with the Guardian. Picks up here the second weapon of the Bulldog on the ground. We have it a halfway. One. He gets the headshot. It's a one versus one. Recon guard out. We're still clicking on that clock. And now we go for the EDS. We're trying to go for the tap. The headshot coming in. And should I say the body kills with the Sam? They're clutch. And we stay alive for Sentinels. We have to spray through the wall as well. Oh, the oh. body, the gun stick, sells with Dapper Falls. Another shot from Sire Player. With this off, looking back towards Snowman, waiting for Sire Player. They both two get players. a kill. It's a two versus two. Now we're pushing forward on a one versus one. It's Trent, it's Tens. Trent is moving forward. The swing, he gets the kill. We're going into overtime. No flash play to come through. Sentinels isn't ready for it. The wall goes Damn. down a bit of a mistiming. Two openers, beautiful flash from Valen what? as well. Ten That's it. Left. That's a five versus two. Yeah, but, but it's shrouded tense. So quick. Shrouded tense. 
only tens with the first headshot. Second one and onto net, looking back towards the 410. You have to be kidding I mean, me. No they they have like here. a guarantee on this round. <laughs> 14 to 13, the guard pulling into the favor now. He's still alive for a minute as he swings out. The timing! What a bait by Trent! How crazy are you gonna do that Nets. in overtime? Two kills then come back from the guard. It's a player advantage now for the defenders for the retake. But like I said, it's still punted for long. We have good positioning right now from Sentinels. No more fragments, no more post plant positioning. And because of that, players are falling down. And now that allows 22. the Viper Smith to come back. One more to go. And Celsius with the kill due to smoke. Looking for the spray. It's back at halfway. Out with the classic. That gets the kill. And that's going to be the guard that finally seals it. 13 to 15 in their favor. Sentinels, after making two massive roster changes coming into this tournament to find themselves facing elimination on day three, has got to stay. So obviously we ended up losing to the guard in the first in the first round of LCQ. Uh, I thought we played pretty well. Um, obviously we lost, but um, I think it was just like little mistakes, new team, two weeks together, uh, new, new match vibes, like some people were nervous maybe. Uh. We kind of had like a first match, like I don't want to say jitters, but like people can get nervous and we shouldn't get nervous because we're all pros, but I feel like we weren't playing our game. I think that there's a lot of things that um, we just needed to feel out in a match setting. Uh, people get comfortable, you know, used to the match intensity. Uh, you know, we've got two new players. It feels like a completely new team, especially with the coaching staff. Four ice spots, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. It's still going to be the guard that knocks yeah. down Sentinels into the lower. We do have to see how everyone plays. I think Sentinels already showed so much improvement, um, but it, it's going to be hard to say that until we see the, the full field of play. Well, they may not have found a win in their first series, but they did something that took them all groups to do last time. They won a map. And, and honestly, the series was pretty close. They had a chance to take that series and actually be in the upper bracket potentially, but that didn't happen. And now they're in the lower bracket fighting for their chance of surviving. Tough loss against the guard, 2-1 or 1-2, however you want to put it. Um, obviously, we're getting sent to the lower bracket, so I think we're lower bracket players. Let's get this shit. Celsius, ready and raring to go. Finds the first, but will he actually get the kills? Shroud, one v Oh! 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 Three kills going their way with Shroud getting both. Oh, 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 good hold. Oh, yeah, I got you. Maybe that's over. Front side going to be able to spray down at one, but that's the only one. Shazam with a splash. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. I thought most of these players, I think wow. maybe just the one. One try and swing. The tens. Nice. Young touch of it. Definitely feels good to have the first win. A little walk through through the series was a hot start for me personally, and I feel like whenever I have a hot start, I'm freaking dangerous. So I was really, really happy to have a hot start. Um, from my experience in the past, having cold starts, I mean, that's good for nobody, right? So started hot and just kind of carried into the next map, got a 2-0, easy. And what's next? What's coming up? What's next? What's coming up? What is coming up? Oh, we play in five days. Wow, that's a long break. Five freaking days. Uh, not sure who we play yet, but in those five days, we're gonna be just going over more stuff, more strats, ironing our play out and making sure we're gonna win the next game. I think we cleaned up some of the stuff that we wanted to do on Breeze, and then we got a chance to show our Fracture. And our, I think our Fracture is one of the maps that's like pretty rehearsed. And I was kind of hoping that we could get in a match and show all of the like different strats and fakes and protocols we have for that map because I think it's pretty well rehearsed. So I think we just played a solid game. We kept the energy levels good. We kept our comms really good. No panicking and no one like too quiet. So uh, I think we just showed up like we should. Hey guys, about to take you in to see our boot camp at that facility or man cave if you would. Come on in.
You know, already off the start of the gate, we got my duo right here, rock ass, you know what I'm saying? And then this is our setup. Got the Zowie GSR new, so you don't get that little mud pad feeling, you know what I'm saying? Get your red Sentinel shout out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. don't look at that. There you go, we gotta stay strapped with my shroud jersey, okay? All right. And then this right here, this bad boy, this mass destruction of a weapon, Zowie monitor. Mwah. The Zowie XL2546K was designed for pros such as myself. It's got a dynamic accuracy technology designed to reduce motion blur, allowing players to counter strafe easier. 240 Hz and 1 MS response time, which of course is critical in FPS games where quick reaction times are needed. The background also appears less blurry and optimizes gameplay performance in titles like Valorant. This technology provides clear visuals to help reduce the chances of Rosa Altine and quick movement in-game, for example, Jets Dash. Shout out to Zowie for hooking us up with these beasts for the boot camp. Oh, you're still here? Or our match is starting, so get out of here. Poise trying to keep back, Hunter Thieves. Bang and Will. They're not going for the spike, man. They don't, I don't feel like they can because of Heaven being controlled. The 2-1v1. Bang! No! Flya does it! The rematch goes in favor of FaZe as they steal a set right out of 100 Thieves' hands. Uh, my takeaways from the 100 Thieves game is... They are trying to play a little too structured. I don't know if that's nerves. I don't know if that's the players or the coaching staff or what, but. Once they got a comfortable lead, they kind of let it go. Like, you don't go up 9-3 and then just don't win a single round of that. That's like a complete like breakdown of a team. But also, don't know what they were doing with. I probably, I will not like assume they'll do it again. You know, it's an org that we've like continued to dominate for such a long time. Like they just could never get a win on us. And even no matter the iteration of the roster, like I don't want them to. They have the players to like just kind of like get wild and loose and just kind of like take fights and stuff like that. And I think in the game against FaZe, they weren't really doing that. So, I mean, I'm kind of hoping they show up to our match with nerves and play the same exact way because then it's just going to be easy. Like I'm already expecting a 2-0. And I feel like this roster is like more like robots following a script than players playing Valorant, if that makes sense. I just think we're better. You know, they're a hoodie org. It's it's just gonna kind of be a cakewalk for us. You know, we're starting to iron out some mistakes and stuff, so hopefully it'll be free. Um, they do a lot of the same things that the other iterations do too, so uh, I feel like we can outplay them. FaZe punch their way forward to a date with the guard while 100 Thieves have a little something to do with Sentinels. That, that's gonna be nuts. Um, they're very predictable. We start, we start defense, right? They pick Breeze. Oh, yeah, start defense, defense. defense. Um, their pistol attack, they did a mid split where they ran up mid. Um, they did the Viper wall on the fly, and it was Viper KO jet mid, Cypher Sova A main. That's a common theme, like Cypher Sova yeah. gonna be A main late on their A hits. Uh, Come on, Sean. That's not that common. What are your room numbers? 7 Eleven. But you. That's racist. Yeah, you know, that that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I looked at me. You started laughing. You looked at me. You went. You went. Seven eleven. No, because I looked at you because you started laughing. You started laughing. Wait, that's fucked up. It's a good. You started smiling as you said that. Nah, it's on the ball. It's on the footage. Yeah, that's seven. I think I didn't watch the podcast. Okay. Well. Holy so fuck. Have fun. Wait. <laughs> Okay, we can't predict them fucking being stupid. Hey man, it's nice us. I figured. We picked Fracture. I thought, so yeah, we picked so Fracture. Good. They picked Breeze for us. Okay. And we then, hey man. We did a set. Told you, man. Wait, you told me. Fracture? You're trying to drag around the shit that you don't know. I don't know. No, he said they wouldn't pick a map that we played. That was the whole thing. Which was, I said they would pick Breeze. Bro, you, you want to drag around a set that we don't know. Yeah. Okay, they think they can end that drive a Fracture or Breeze. So, two maps that we have the most rounds on in this tournament. Yeah. Fracture and Breeze. Sean's, Sean's a big anti shredder too. No, it's literally all I've known of Sean. I've played with him for three years on three different teams. Yeah. Also, like, Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the VCTNA. The team that everyone has been talking about, though, the team of the, of the week has been Sentinels. Sentinels is finally putting that incredible level of work in, and again, a team that can compete at the top level. This is a big, big game for both of these squads. I have what was that, your ass? A Valorant there right here. I have to go back a year to look at the last time the two these two teams played against each other. So, I have this is going to be a good one, guys. Oh. Yeah. 
And they've been able to take the site back to where they are. Once again, it's the oh. oh. to take it to their doors. Oh. That's exactly what they do. Dapper gets three. Wow. How do they want to go about this? Ult out, Will not able to get the kill. The leader for Sentinels cleans that up, and Dapper gets another. They've got numbers. Seller faces are trying to drop down on, but instead he's the one who goes up top. He's the one who goes for the fight. Clutch King in a position to do it again, and no! Overtime is in the cards. Now with that, they can turn attention to the guns. Austin who tries to swing, and the rest of 100 Thieves try to cover behind him, but no, he's only able to get one. Seller well, seem to be keeping him back, but oh. Eric again! How does he do it so consistently? They find themselves in another position to put them away. They get pushed, they continue to try to bundle their way out. Austin has fallen too. Tens may just do this round all himself. One enemy remaining. We've already seen one ace. Second one was stolen. And yeah, this one's not gonna work out either. Of course no! it's Derek. Oh my 15 god, apiece. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Now the flash, here we go. The fast lane, the drop down from Austin is seeing if he's gonna find anyone in. No, Tense keeps them back. The fury that comes out from 100 Thieves for now. And Shaz gets another, another comeback from Sentinels. As Will no! finds himself in a 1v4, a 17 to 15 win. Ladies and gentlemen, that was just map one. Dude, my nuts were fucking tight up there. One round, I was trying to call, I was trying to call a, a crack shot on defense. Oh, I didn't get any kills on OT, but I You and Gerard, that was dirty, bro. Okay, that no, shot on that guy in the window, that was actually disgusting. And then yeah. the guy runs out, and you're like, look at me. <laughs> Yo, dude, yeah, dude, dude, I just didn't expect him to be out, because I mollied a dapper molly. <laughs> bro, yeah. right? I'm like, oh, fucking book. Yeah. Let's yeah. fucking go. Remember, Wait, these guys actually copied us. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they did. That's how I knew everything they were doing. Everything, everything. No, I knew everything they were doing because their five-day break was taking our comp. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is important. Heavy exec, and they do a viper wall that cuts through yellow. You can keep like the right side of PC. yellow that goes deep. Like you know, yeah. what I'm talking about like deeper. Yeah. And um, you can still stop staring. Jet dashes in, yeah. and Silva ults yellow if he has ult. So don't try to sit behind that viper wall or whatever. Like he ults. He ults. If it's just funny because if we see that viper wall, should I play behind it or in front of it? Yeah. Um, manages to walk away with the win on their map pick of Fracture in a very, very close exchange between two determined and hungry teams. It's now time for game number two. It's Breeze. Sentinels are up in this series. Let's send it back over to Doug and Bala for the call. Dash goes through. Dapper repositioning. Tense gets the kill. Dapper swings around. Gets the kill. But not much more. And Tense still causes problems. Gets yeah, Tens is weak. He's able to clear that one up, but that's all it's going to be good for. Sentinels take the lead. It's around. He's been spotted. His position's given away. The camp drops him. His will goes up top. The blade storm cleans it up. He walk up top. Oh, but no, he decides to go into the wall. And Will cleans him up. Will gets a second on the round. Yeah, not hit. Now the Hunter's Fury banned in the swing. He falls too. Will gets in. And now Shazam. Clock expired. Derek cleans it up. A 13 to 7 win for 100 Thieves as we're headed to Haven. As 100 Thieves have managed to walk away with their win on their map pick of Breeze. 13 7 to close that one out with some hero performances from the team across the board. But this is it. Do or die for both of these teams. Winner moves on. Loser is out of the competition. And their hopes to make Istanbul for champions will be over. Let's send it back over to your casters to jump into the action. It's Doug and Bala. You see the nades with the huge back. The paranoia intense falls from the heavens, and he's able to take Derek, drop him down with him as Tense gets three. He's got a chance at four. He gets four. Ace on the other side of the smoke. No dapper to steal it this time around, but it's Zelsis who actually does it. Shroud's gonna get the defuse. <laughs> Third time to try. They knock on the door yet again, and Sentinels refuse to open it. They shut it in their face for the third time this round. C is not an option. Will and Stellar all here. They've gotten here before them. And they made the work, though. Yeah, time Ooh, is Asuna's on here side. too. Perhaps that's part of it. Derek with the sheriff. He gets one. Asuna does as well. And there's the that you were looking for. It's a 1v1. One and Dapper wins it out. Oh. Uh, Tans winning out that duel. Well done with the Vandal. Do they continue to push forward? Yes, Derek from up top. Asuna does as well. The drop down. And Shroud falls. Another clean round from 100 Thieves. Advantage of Stellar! Does it with the Sheriff! It's all down onto Zelsis! In a 1v2, 1 HP! Can he do it? The spam not gonna land. A Prowler on the other side, waiting to see if it's gonna, someone's gonna swing him garage. And no, no challenge. Yo, yeah, I am. Yo, shh. Relax. Calm down. 
Good shit, Jordan. Just like every everyone reset. Yeah, that's my that's my whole point. What we're doing is really good. Okay, just keep being confident. That round was messy, but we're confident. That's all that fucking matters. Okay, let's go, guys. Right. Be confident. Let's fucking go. Come on. I don't think they are. Oh, they're in the slow though, and the flash could really do some damage. Shroud with the paranoia, and you see him, he repositions. Set up the up. Hey, is is the way for him to get out. It goes back and forth. Shroud on the swing, no, bang drops him. 4v3 in favor of 100 Thieves. Spike planted, and they're not done yet. Zeus is still healthy. So many targets before, and Shaz and Dapper to keep it back, and no, they're gonna get the defuse. 100 Thieves live to fight another day. And they take down the monsters of clout. Unfortunately for Sentinels, they're gone, their season over. Yeah, um, we we lost to both finalists. They were both one round matches. Um, job shows that it was like really competitive. Um, but it's also like kind of depressing because uh, I feel like it was within our grasp to win LCQ. We went over a lot in a short period of time. I thought I thought we played pretty well. I was happy with it. It was just a fun atmosphere memory. Like we were there for a reason. We were there to get results and to win. But at the same time, I feel like we created a bond. You know, I can't beat myself up. Uh, I'm happy with how we did with our the standard situation and the low amount of time. Got some time off, you know. I've been I've already started playing a lot, streaming, playing like the ten mans, the pro ten mans. Um, I'm gonna spend some time off, maybe for myself. Uh, hang on with the girlfriend, go visit my mom. There are no plans. I am hard grinding. It does not stop. I'm back in the gym. We're still playing Valorant every day. We're still getting ready for franchising. I am not skipping a beat. I do not care. We're not gonna, gonna stay down, you know. We're gonna figure it out for next year, hopefully, and uh, be back to the winning Sentinels. Thank you for all the support. Uh, I've been on Sentinels for more than two years now. I love you guys like a family. Uh, yeah, thank you for all the support for LCQ and thank you for showing love to all the new players and yeah, I love you guys.